hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i want to say a big thank you to the viewers my subscribers and if today is the first time you are watching this video please don't forget to support the family by hitting the subscribe button like and share also if you have any question please feel free to drop your question on the comment section right guys this is a white fabrics you might not see the marking very well but the rest assured i'll be explaining everything you need to know everything i'm doing here i'll explain so you understand it very well okay the first thing i will do is to, to use my ruler to make a straight line the reason why i'm making this line was i want the fabrics to be equal i don't want the situation whereby when i'm cutting the inner one will be shorter than the outside one so i want everything to be equal that's why i'm making this straight line so when i'm done with the straight line i'll i cut it out i'll cut it off So as you can see, they are equal now. So now I can start my my marking. So the first thing I will do here is to take the length of the the person. The length of the person is 35. 35. I'll add extra one and a half inch. You can decide to add one inch, two inch. It's up to you. So when I mark, I come in a bit. I mark again. The next thing is the shoulder. The shoulder is shoulder 19. Shoulder is always divided into two. 19 divided into two. 19 divided into two. You have nine and a half. There's something I want to explain here. You know this is done cheeky. The hand is the sleeve is always connect is always connected to this shoulder. So when I when I mark at nine and a half. I'll add extra seven inches for the sleeve of the person. This is nine and a half. I'll add extra seven inches, depending on how long the person wants the um, the sleeve to be. This is what I mean from the picture displayed on the screen. You you understand more. Then when when I mark seven, I'll add extra one inch to it, making it eight. The the one inch is for the hemming because you have to fold that place so it's for the hemming so you drop it down by two inches for shoulder slant the two inches is for the shoulders you know our shoulder is not straight then from there but here there's nothing like arm hole you use the round sleeve of the person to make the arm hole for the arm hole with the round the round sleeve of the person is 16 16 divided by 2 we have 8 then you added extra 1 inch allowance for the hemming also then from there you take the chest measurement the chest measurement we are working with is 45 45 you divide it by 4 45 divided by 4 You mark forty five divided by four. We have eleven point two. We have eleven point two. You mark at eleven point two. This is eleven point two, which is forty five. Then you add extra four inches allowance four inches allow you know the is always free it's a free clothes the free top then you add extra one inch and i'm making it five inches. So everything i added here was five inch allowance to the 11 inches i i added let me for the chest then from here to get the tummy to know where the tummy lies from the top you mark at 16. you take the same measurement because it's a free 
it's a free top take the same measurement 11.2 then you added extra five inch allowance add extra five inch allowance to it then you do the same thing all through you take the same the same measurement all through down to where the length of the clothes stopped so that is how you you do it the next thing is to mark the neck they take the neck measurement or mark two and a half from the length of the clothes two and a half then the width is two inches two and a half by two inches then you draw a curvy line So you connect the neck to that place where you dropped two inches. You connect the two of them together. This is for the shoulder slant. You know, our shoulder is not straight. So that is why we always drop it. So this is it. This is the front facing. This is how the front facing looks like. The next thing we'll do here is the back facing, is to mark the back facing. So you have to place the front facing on the back facing to cut before you cut. So you place the front facing on it. So when you are done, you mark 3 inches from the front facing, 3 inches, you mark, you mark 3 inches all through, from that slant part where you mark in the front facing, you 
mark same thing all through you cut there's nothing much different from the front a back facing front and the back facing is just this three inches that you marked here this three inches is for the overlapping it will overlap the front um, pattern to help it drop down a bit so we could do mark two inches so two and a half two inches two and a half is depending on the size of the person it's not a it's not bad so I always use three inches then you overlap the back the back um, facing on the front facing by half inch when you overlap it you iron to make it relax Then you follow the circumference of the front pattern to cut the the back pattern. As you can see, there's nothing different from the front and back. So this is it. As you can see, it's very easy, very simple to do. So you can try yours on your own. If you have a question, feel free to drop your question in the comment section. If you have any challenges when you are doing yours, just drop your question in the comment section. So here is to cut the neck, Just to cut the neck, there's nothing much to do here, it's just to follow that same circumference of the, of the front, of the front uh, pattern. You just notch here a bit, you notch it a bit. Then from the back facing, you open it, you go down by half inch, then you connect it to that place where you notched, connect it to that place, as you can see, it's not too deep like the front, like the front facing, so this is it, this is how you cause your soul, thank you guys for watching my video, if you find this video helpful please don't forget to support the family it helps us grow give us a huge thumbs up subscribe to our channel so it's, so you'll be the first person to be notified when we make a newer video thank you guys for your support and see you in our next video bye